Hello everyone, welcome to this video all about brush. Brush is a common use feature in Photoshop, but I'm sure whether you are a beginner or experienced user, you'll be able to learn something new and improve your skills from this video. Let's get started. In Photoshop, let's start with creating a new file. The default background layer has been locked, so we need to create a new layer to draw on. Brush tool or shortcut B. Make sure a layer is selected. We have four ways to change the settings of the brush. First one is right click on the canvas, change the size and hardness. With a smaller hardness, the brush will have a blurred edge. The second way is to change from brush setting. There will be a preview of how the brush will look by dragging the numbers. With the brush setting panel, we can also adjust the spacing. The third way is using the shortcut. You can see the brush is getting bigger or smaller by a certain increment. The way I like most is right clicking while pressing Alt. To the left, it gets smaller, to the right, it gets bigger. Move the cursor up, you have less hardness, and down, back to full hardness. I think it's the best, fast, and most visualized way to get the right size and hardness as you want. There is a quick way to change the opacity is pressing the number, like if you press 5, it will be 50% or 1 for 10. For opacity under 10%, you need to have a 0 in the front, for example, 0, 0.5 for 5%, or 1, 5 for 15, 3 for 30. You can play with it. In brush creating, the grayscale will be turned into opacity. I'll show you how it works. Here is a blank new layer. I'll draw with full black and change the brightness, which is a grayscale, to 50%. Still have the opacity as 100, and draw beside the black dot. Left-click the layer thumbnail while pressing Ctrl. Go to Edit, Define Brush Preset. Then the brush will be automatically applied to the new brush we just made. Color back to black. Draw on the new layer, and if we move the new layer on top of the old one, we can see the grid area is transparent. So if you want to create a solid brush, the original pattern needs to be 100% black. For exporting the brush, go to the top right corner, export selected brush, and then the brush could be saved, share, and re-import. Importing brush is same easy. If you cannot see the stroke in the preview, make sure you tick on the brush stroke. And if your preview is too small, you can drag the small triangle. I personally like it to look bigger. This brush, you can still use Alt and right click to scroll left and right to adjust the size. But when you scroll up and down, notice that the opacity has been changed instead of hardness. Use Pen tool to draw a path. Right click Stroke Path and ensure your stroke with the brush. This will be a good way to draw a street tree or dotted line. You can also use the scattering feature to do the background tree. And then you can quickly apply a layer style to give it a tree looking. If you found this tip helpful, make sure to subscribe and leave a like. That way you will have easy access to my channel if you want to refresh your memory in the future. Thanks for watching.